I, you know, I was actually looking for that when we first arrived there. I can't really tell what that is. Maybe some sort of, uh, 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 excuse me, some sort of uh, luggage or something like that. But clearly, they got the uh, driver, they got Tiger Woods out of that vehicle through the windscreen. And now the lighting isn't really that good, but there's definitely a logo on that door. A lot of damage all around that vehicle, even the backside. So this vehicle must have been tumbling at some point when it, when it came to arrest out here. And you've said it already, it, you know, we say it all the time, a very violent crash. This one extremely violent, and hopefully Tiger's going to be okay after some kind of crash like this. How does, how does that happen? Well, that's what I thought too. Maybe if he came down, you know what I mean? But there's no driveway. That could have been the fire department made that path. There's no way it could have came off the hill going down, right? I mean, I know we're live. There's like... Right. There you go, Invitant. Yeah. <clears throat> no, it looks like backpack. Might be golf bags. It is golf bags. Marlo is on it. It is a golf bag. There's no doubt about it. <clears throat> Probably an investigator. Maybe he was going southbound and he came across the lanes. Yeah, maybe he was going south. What's that right there? Push back in right by the curb. So maybe he was going south and he crossed lanes. <laughs> there. Oh, there's the debris field. There, right there is the debris field, though. Yeah, he did. He was coming down the hill. Oh, definitely. Definitely coming down the hill. Co Copy all. Yeah, yeah. Vinny will, Vinny will follow along. Copy on. So start at the car and then go right to that little intersection. Yeah, right. And then show the, the, the evidence. Well, Marlon, nobody's giving us any kind of official information, but we do look at accident scenes all the time up here at Skybox. And one of the things that we were talking about is this is on the north side or the, the side of the uh, Hawthorne where you're going uphill. And that was one of the things we were so concerned about. A lot of times we can see a debris field, and this time we found one as well. It appears, appears, we are by no means an accident investigator, by no means condemning or saying what went on down there, but from the evidence we're seeing down there on the road, this is going to be Hawthorne Boulevard, and you can see that that vehicle was traveling downhill, and somewhere right there at that intersection, that's when it all kind of starts. You see some debris on the road right there, some of that wood chips kind of thrown out, but then as we pan along a little bit, you can actually see uh, spots that the fire, excuse me, that they, they actually were uh, evidence there on the road. Those are parts of the vehicle as it was coming apart right there, and it basically hit that hillside, probably started to roll several times, and look how far away this is from like where it was last on the road to where that vehicle ended up. Also, you asked me earlier on, Molly, if there were, if those were golf bags, we did get able to push in. We cannot identify those as golf bags. That is really just, uh, it, it's tragic to look at. It's very, very sad. And you can see how that vehicle just kind of came to a, a rest or landed right there. Heavy front end damage. Clearly that vehicle tumbled. 
several times. It might not even have rolled. It might have been end to end as it kind of bounced along here on the side of the road coming to st uh, stop right there. You talked about uh, airbag deployment. I can tell you it looks as though every airbag in that vehicle went off at one point or another. And it also, we hear that LA County Fire, they had to use the jaws of life. Uh, we don't see any physical evidence where they were cutting into the vehicle, but clearly you can see that they tore apart that windscreen to get Tiger Woods out of that car. So again, this is an ha accident happening out here. They were telling it the intersection Black Horse. Black Horse is a, is a little bit farther up the roadway, but the majors out here, the, up to the north would be Silver Spur. It's actually closer to Palos Verdes Boulevard, the road that we're looking at there is Hawthorne. And again, we were thinking, how do you get that kind of speed going up this hill? It's very steep, but now we're seeing that it was actually going down the hill as it uh, as it basically lost control, went across that center divider, probably hit the hit that uh, other curb right there and started tumbling again. These are just what we're seeing, the evidence, how we, how we see it being laid out down there. We're not condemning or, or saying how this accident happened, but it does really, you really see that clear path of debris and then where that car ended up. And of course, you've just got to think, how fast was that vehicle moving at the time of the crash? Possibly there was a medical issue, who knows? But he is way up on that hillside and you can see the damage to that vehicle. Marla? He rolled this way, yeah, yeah. Right, and the roof isn't scuffed up. He's, he's going to survive. I just hope he didn't mess up his back right out of his surgery. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm not condemning him. I, I, you have no idea what happened. Maybe a coyote ran out in front of him. Who knows? The only person that knows is him. That's a sign that says Rolling Hills Estates. Man, yeah, it's probably it was probably in the center. Right there. That's what right there. Yep, yep, the mics, I mentioned that. I wonder if he hit that tree. Oh yeah, there's no, no skid marks. But that's the thing, we don't know if he's there. He might, being a celebrity, they might have taken him someplace else. And we also, you know, they're saying critical, but, you know, what is it? Is it life? Right. Right, there's UCLA Harbor, that's a good one, and then, you know, they might have taken him up to uh, Cedars. Well, that's right, Marlon, if somebody was talking, I, I mean, I'm sorry, Roxy, excuse me, was talking about that sign. Uh, Vinny and I found that sign actually on the roadway, and it is actually sitting up. You can see where it still says, uh, welcome to Rolling Hills Estates. There it is. That's what's left of it. And that was at that corner right there. You can see that basically he plowed right through it. Also, there was talk about oil in the roadway. So the, we just, Vinny just passed right by that right there. But there's a lot of oil right there in the roadway. So that was the path of the accident. Don't know what kind of oil that is, if that's engine oil or if that uh, actually looks more red. So perhaps it is, uh, it's going to be a transmission fluid. And, of course, you can see right there, clearly marked the license plate of that vehicle from the uh, Genesis Invitational and just laying there out in the roadway. So this is definitely the path of that vehicle. And it, as you, as Roxy was talking about, this is downhill. We can tell just by looking at it. It is a very very steep grade. So coming down the hillside right there, somehow something happened. Lost control of the vehicle, went across lanes into the northbound lanes, and then up onto that very very steep hillside. The most uh, bizarre part of this crash that we can see from up here in Sky Fox is that that vehicle basically tumbled from front to rear to front to rear. 
that it not rolling like you would see most vehicles. You can see that rooftop right there, no damage to sides. They have, you know, buckling, and that actually might have even been from fire probably. They're standing on the car working to get uh, that victim, Tiger Woods, out of that car. But you can clearly see that this vehicle tumbled from, you know, from the, from the front to the rear as it made its way down that roadway and up onto that hillside. It, it is, uh, I'm very, very hopeful just looking at this accident that, that Tiger it will be okay. We understand critical condition, but there's the even, even critical, there's different levels of critical. As soon as we get that kind of information, it, it'll answer more questions. But you can clearly see how the firefighters came here. They worked very quickly. They basically took that windscreen out to get Tiger Woods out of that uh, out of that wreckage and then off to a hospital. Right now, though, it's still a crime scene. Probably going to be a crime scene for quite some time. And again, the, what we can figure out just by looking at this, this vehicle is in the northbound lanes, but clearly was going south down Hawthorne, basically from the Silver Spur. That's a major up north, uh, up, up, uh, actually to the south, but on the top of the hill, uh, and making its way uh, northbound at the bottom of the hill is going to be Palos Verdes. That's going to be the major. And you can see this is how detailed they're going to they're going to handle this crash. And they're going to measure everything out. That's going to be the sheriff's department down there, probably specialized crash teams. And they're going to measure every little piece of debris from impact to where they found it to basically maybe recreate this crash and try to figure out what caused it. And of course. Tiger, he's the only one that, or Mr. Woods, is the only one that actually knows what happened. So in the end, hopefully he'll be able to talk and tell at least investigators how this crash happened. But again, very tragic out here and a very, very bad crash involving Tiger Woods in the Rolling States area. Marla? Yeah, I was looking as soon as you said it. I was looking for like the, the white, uh, the sun shades or the silk shades uh, to throw the light and I don't see anything. Why would they have a turnout right there? That doesn't make any sense. Is that just for making U-turns? Yeah, you, no, you went yeah, way too far. There you go. But we just don't know if that's where he was going, but just assuming. Yes, they are. I'll help you. Give me a second. That's so bizarre. My phone isn't updating, but my iPad is getting texts from, from the station. Go ahead. Yes, we showed that on television. We did it live. We, we did that live on television. Would you like to see it? It's just going to be registered to the to the uh, to the invitational, but we can show it to you. There it is. Yeah, part of the grill is there too. Yeah. Eight Tango, maybe zero. Bravo. I, I took a picture of it and tried to blow it up. Eight Tango, I got that part. Yeah, it looks like five zero zero, five hundred, but it's going to be just registered to Genesis or Hyundai. Yeah, well, it's it's an invitational vehicle. It's a courtesy vehicle.
Yeah, Harbor. USC Harbor. They probably drove them over there. Yeah. <laughs> USC LA Harbor. I did you see I believe you. I might look. Hey, it's UCLA. Well, I was just, you know, I just wanted to confirm you were right. Why do you have to put a negative spin on everything? No, he wasn't. Oh, yeah, he was. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs>